Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix. Ignore the hoodie. I have a bad hair day. It is what it is. Anyways, we got five levels of scythe players. So we got five different ranked elos. So we have like silver, low gold, like a high gold plot one. Then we have low diamond and then we have Valhalla. We're going to be going over the difference in all these gameplays and kind of everything that these scythe players do and just seeing the difference. I want to do this a series with other, other weapons. So if you enjoy this concept, hit that like, subscribe, comment. I've done three levels of scythe on my main channel, but five levels, it seems a bit better because then we can split the skill gap a lot more and we can really see the difference. Anyways, let's get right into this. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below for more. Okay. Um, First thing I just want to say from the silver player, um, they're obviously I think the Mordex because that's the only character with sight. Um, they posted a replay where they lost, which is actually great. Um, we can kind of like coach, see what they could have done. Um, later ELO, it's actually fine if they won or lost, it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyways, let's get right into this. Nice little double side light. Um, first thing I'm just going to say is like learn your strings. Um, you're hitting combo starters and whatnot that you should be able to follow up. You just don't know how to follow it up. Like you don't follow up a forward side light with a neutral light. It's forward, right? You could try on the end light, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's like a lot of not knowing the essentials of following up when it's optimal, which ones are optimal and when. Looks like just like a lot of spamming um, is what it is. It's just ELO, new players, people don't really know not gonna flame whatsoever um but this might be just a little bit hard to watch even the lance player doesn't know and they're just pressing two buttons okay let's see it's just a lot of nothing <laughs> yeah it's a lot of nothing this is like uncoachable because it's like not good uh, you just need to like play the game practice strings maybe play, play some free for all for now Ranked isn't really your thing. I'm so sorry. I'm being so toxic. Um, yeah, just learn the basic strings. Start with there. Start with just understanding the bare essentials. Watch some tutorials. And then the rest of this, here's some sight. Just not even like punishing properly. Doesn't know any. Yeah, I just kind of. I didn't see that, okay? So that, that did not exist. I'm so sorry. That was the first one. So now we're going to start seeing it scale. So this is now mid gold. We got a win from this Artemis player. A three stock. Okay. So we're looking at Joshua with the Artemis. Let's see. I like the little side lights. A little bit confident. Come on, got the sight. There we go. Bad side light is fine. We probably could have punished a lot of those. Or at least back when this is happening um so you probably could actually end light if you had just more confidence in like the range of your end light um okay it's, that was a good follow-up i was gonna say you could have positioned yourself in a better spot to be able to just punish neutral light instead of like standing horizontally yeah let's see this Ooh. I don't like this. This is like a gold moment, okay? They're coming in with a down air, right? Or they did a down air, right? Now this should be a free punish, like neutral light, right? You kind of dash, dash, and then side light the wrong direction. That's a, that's a certified gold moment. What is this? This looks like I'm watching my own gameplay from 2017 when dash first came out. Okay. They go for a side light, so really, why are you backdashing? You're just spamming at this point. Now you could like now you're in a weird position, so maybe you just want to stand still, neutral light. Now you forward dash again. Okay, now you're in a different position. Now you're dashing away again, and then you're backdashing again, and then you're side lighting. Why is this punish so slow? Um, you're just spamming dash at that point. Which, like, I guess dash dancing is fun, and it's one way to practice it all, but, um, not really optimal. Also, like, little things, like, even on Lance, like, I know this is a Scythe video, but just positioning. Like, Lance has a ton of range here. Um, there is no point in being this close to a cannon player on Lance. You're just spamming dash at this point. Like, why did Artemis press a dash towards them without an attack? It's just dumb. Um, positioning is just so huge. It's just spacing. Scythe, here we go. Okay, let's see this three stack. 
Same thing, you're taking too long to get these punishes. You're spamming dash way too much while they're attacking. Look, you're in dash frames, and then you're dashing again, and then go, like, what? Nice follow-ups. So that's the difference, you know, your strings. Bad side light. You didn't get follow-up, that's a good reaction. Nice little follow-up there. Nice end sig. Definitely this gameplay is a step in the right direction, but this is only, like... A month or two worth of practice compared to the last guy at most. It's just like learning the strings if you're practicing optimally. Okay, so we have 1700 plot one. Let's see this. So this this is going to be like a low plat compared to the last gameplay was like mid gold. Now this is low plat. Okay, we're, we're kind of on bow here and they got wrecked. Let's see what happens with the site. Okay, here's some sight. Let's see this. Tie game two to two. Didn't get a follow up. That's fine. A lot of forced engagements here. I don't like this. They go for a neutral light. In this positioning, you're not punishing that neutral light. You shouldn't even go for it. You try and go for a side light. Bad option. They go for a down air. You do nothing and then end light. What is this? Uh, just questionable. Good try on the end sig, a bit of an extension. Good try, I guess. You didn't get the read. Nice dodge. Nice side light. Didn't really get a follow up. Nice sig. A little bit of sig spam. Ugh. Nice D light. Good try. Yeah, the big difference with the site compared to last. A bit more confidence with some options, like where, where things are going and whatnot. Not spamming dash. Um, and not, like, putting himself in a bad position to punish. Like, here, I like this. I like this a lot, right? It's like, how are you avoiding attacks and positioning yourself to get a good punish? They're going for a downer. See, on Lance, I would dodge horizontally here. On Scythe, just a jump is optimal. Now you can hit downer. It's perfect. Good try. That was all kind of just risky. What I would have done in this situation is you hit them off stage. This down air is incredibly risky, especially when they have a dodge. No way this is ever confirmed. Don't go for it. I would have waited for them to recovery, then down air them. Um, but now you're in this position. How do you avoid it? The dodge is good. Then the rest are just kind of scuffed. It was just that down air, really. Ooh, same thing. Stop going for that. I promise you, you're, you've lost games because of it. Hey. Okay, let's see. Looks like a lot of jump positioning to hit down there. Um, that's kind of like the big thing on site. Definitely just... You need to position yourself for down airs and side airs. Nice dodge. Like, little things like that, golds don't do. Some do, but... Yeah, Plat is just kind of complaining your game plan. Not making dumb mistakes. That was some dumb gold mistakes. I don't like a lot of these inputs, but I guess it's fine. Ooh, I didn't like that down sig. Like, like why would you input down sig here? You can see they're here. Okay, so this down sig would never hit. And they're probably going to attack you. So, what is this input? You avoid the side sig, but then you press down sig? What? Avoid, then punish. Don't punish while avoiding. It's just weird. Okay, let's see. Nice recovery. Good try on the end sig, even though it didn't really connect. Nice nair. Um, that's risky. And then good recovery. Good timing and everything. That timing to catch their recovery is like just something you're gonna like learn over time. Okay, we got two more. So this one is low diamond. This is a Mordex player beating a Macho Man. Sad. Three, two, and then next one is Valhalla. So now we're starting to see this is the best spammer ever. And yeah, this is some low diamond gameplay. Nice follow-ups. Even messes up the, the follow-ups after that, but that's totally fine. Again, it's like a lot of that positioning to want to be like above them, like dodge there and then try and go for a dare. Even though it didn't hit, um, it's just, you'll notice the positioning a lot more. Especially on like different weapons. 
What is this Macho Man doing? You could have hit a much harder punish. That was just not optimal. Ooh. Boo. Ooh. Oh, you got clowned on these first two socks. Let's see. We're gonna all watch you with gauntlets, though. Okay, there's a Scythe player. You know, just got caught in the wake up. Nice down there. Ground pound was fine. Why are you going for these side sigs when they're not gonna kill? Good try. Good try on the weapon toss. Sarah was just not it. It's a weapon toss didn't hit. You're running into him with unarmed and positioning yourself for free and sick. Okay, how do you how do you win this game? Okay, let's see. Nice side sick. This Mordex is good, don't get me wrong. Just like a lot of just dumb mistakes. It looks like the Mordex inputs way too much. Just like like yeah, the this side light is just like super random. You could have probably went for another Nair here. Like, that's just super weird. Even this downlight is just kind of weird. Um, I guess it's for tempo. And you got tempo out of it. But it's just a bit weird. This down is really weird. This just looks like a complete miss input. You do an instant jump there. It's just a weird. Going for read. Nice Nair. It's going to get a kill here. The side Sega is fine as an edge guard. It's not going to kill, though. Good try. I like the positioning. Um, goes for an end zig, but because of the positioning, fast falls, right, to avoid, and then gets a punish. I like that a lot. Nice down there. Completely tie game. Um, just a lot of small good things, um, but still some weird inputs. Um, just a couple neutral wins can really change the game for you. Scythe is good advantage. There. I like this positioning. Look at this. Goes for a side air to bait them. I like this side air. Impossible to punish. Um, so this is really nice. Then they try and punish, but nope, you jump and then downer. Instead of like dodging horizontally like I do, the jump and then a downer puts you in a great position for that downer. It's just perfect. This is really dumb from the Macho Man. Okay. I was gonna say if you won the game like that, that would have been annoying. Uh, this is all just a mess. You guys can even see the issues of low diamond, even if you're in like gold. You're seeing some like really just unoptimal options and just like weird. What is that follow up? It's just weird from the Macho Man. Nice side light. Good try on the D light. Positioning could have been better to not eat the side air. Same with that. Just a dumb extension. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, get down there. It's just kind of dumb. It's pretty punishable. Close game. My sider. I was gonna say, if you don't punish those, like, you're trash. There's, like, why neutral air here? You're guessing completely, especially in the positioning. It's just punishable. My sider. I would have delighted. Like, I, I don't really understand fishing for these neutral airs. Like, here, you just delight. They can't punish it. And, like, it would have covered where they were. It's just weird. I haven't seen a single D-Light. Okay. It's better. Don't get me wrong. It's not there yet. Um, but now we have the last one, level 5. So this is SEA Valhalla. And let's see this fate. We'll kind of be able to see how SEA pairs up. Because the last one, I believe, was US East or US West. So we'll be able to see. It's just going to be interesting. Ugh. 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 I'm sorry. All of that exchange. I'm just going to go over this one. Look at this positioning. Oh, okay. You can down her. All like, he had to do was input like a little bit of a fast fall first. It's just a bad... Ugh. Okay. That was good follow up. Good delight. Going for more standard strings. Messed up on that Nair. I like that. I like the positioning a lot. Um, people can't wake up against Scythe because it's crazy. Nice down air. Nice recovery. This player, even though they're making a lot of those like small fundamental mistakes, I like the gameplay. Um, very like consistent hitting inputs for the most part and just not inputting too much. 
It's a very smart scythe I'm liking. Nice down like a little calculated stuff like that. Like so clean just to see that dodge horizontally then be able to hit these strings because of it. Now, a couple mistakes that I still don't agree with. Um, like backdashing towards them here is just dumb. Nice recovery or ground pound, what am I saying? Trolling. Nice down seek, actually. See, like, that's clean. The recovery's not a bad option. Kind of hard to cover. Didn't like that. I didn't like that side light end sig. Definitely, I can see, like, the path for this person to improve. It's just option select. That's kind of all. Like, what the hell? What? That guy's fine. They're in red. You're kind of fishing for sigs. I get it. They're on the orb now, so technically it's not part of this video, but it's fine. Side like Sarah, brah. Sure. Still just dumb. Now you're on orb still. I want to see some scythe. Come on. Show me that scythe. Ugh. Hit your combos. Okay, let's see. Oh, they lost another stock. Just dumb. Just a lot of whiffs. Whiff, 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 whiff. There we go. Yeah, just this person needs to relax. It's just a lot of like that decision making. I would say the last person was actually better. Um, in terms of I like the speed of the last person. Just needs to kind of calm down. This person just needs to be more accurate. Um, Scythe, just a lot of miss inputs, a lot of whiffs, a lot of not hitting true combos. Um, similar in terms of actual skill, these two gameplays, the last two games, but... Like, I would say this is equivalent to 2100, 2050, low diamond, maybe, uh, in US East. So, it's not necessarily level 5, um, but that was... But definitely some nice things, like, like, accuracy there, not whiffing as much outside of being in disadvantage state but guys if you enjoyed this video like subscribe comment down below let me know your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next video turn the notification bell on peace